Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating grid containers. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with something really simple, and that is how to create your very first grid container. Now in CSS Grid, there are two grid container types that you can create. One is a block level grid container, and the other one is an inline grid container. And they would behave exactly as you would think. One behaves like a block level element, and the other one behaves like an inline element, okay, with children inside of it. So firstly, before we actually do the CSS for it, let's understand the minimum HTML that we need. So you need at least one parent element on its own. So in this case, I've got a div for the class container, and then you just need as many children that you wanna have in your grid. So in this case, I have four numbered one to four, okay? Pretty simple, same as the one below. I've done exactly the same thing. The only difference is I've given this class a class name of inline container, right? Cool. So how do we set a grid container for the first time? Well, there's a new value on the display property known as grid. And when I save this, you're going to see that the output looks pretty much the same. However, this is now in fact a grid. It's a grid that has no rows or columns defined for it. So what CSS Grid does, or the browser does, I should say, under the hood, is create one column and as many rows that is needed for the items, okay? And that's the default behavior if you don't specify any columns or rows for your grid. Now, this is a block level one, obviously, because it goes all the way across the screen. But what we're about to see now is an inline version. So if I come down and go display inline grid for the inline grid example, you're going to see the same result as above in terms of one column and four rows. But the difference is, is that the width of the container is now only as wide as the content that's inside of it. So congratulations, you've created your very first grid container. And that's all I wanted to show in this video. So I'll see you all in the next one.